Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. Serena? Why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors, laughing, giddy as teenagers. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious, sensual thrill. The table is worn but sturdy, just like our relationship was. Or is. We just don't know anymore. Our dining table. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I could tell plenty of stories about this table. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still in one piece. The dining table was well worn even when we acquired the cabin. You could tell from its appearance that it had been the centerpiece of many happy occasions. And there were many more to come. Our dining table. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Come, love, with peace in your heart, said Niav of the Ice Blue Eyes. Hmm. Blue Eyes. It's based on an Irish folktale. Warrior poet Oshin goes to Tirnanog, a Celtic otherworld known as the Land of Youth and Promise. Niav is of the Fey folk, the Fair Ones, fairies. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. I've always been drawn to things that are kind of both good and bad at the same time. Maybe because that's so like life. My grandma introduced me to these old legends when I was just a kid, in between stories of what she could still remember of her childhood in the old country. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lo- She made this with her own hands. She was really good. Look what I made, hun. In case we ever need to sweep something under the carpet. See the pattern of yellow squares? It's from this rug I remembered from my nursery. I must have been like three or four, but it always stuck with me. And no trap door under there, just more creaky floor. I always resisted the temptation to sweep things under there when it was my turn to tidy up. The rug's all crooked again. Can you help me straighten it out? And no trap door under there, just more creaky floor. Quite a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan needs. She uses most of it. We all have our skeletons in the closet, but not Serena. She was perfect. I'm not sure why, but I don't feel like opening it. The sole thought of it drains what little energy I have left in me. Maybe later. There's nothing of interest inside the closet anyway. I'm a casual dresser. No need to change clothes right now. She used to keep magazines, paperback novels, the usual stuff on these nightstands when we were staying here. Good night, love. She would always bring her reading material like I did. Why are these nightstands so empty? 
dust everywhere. The amount of dust on it might make me hack up a lung. It's full of little scratches and gouges. Dust everywhere. The amount of dust on it might make me our refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. Sometimes we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was. Far out. The furniture came with the cabin, but the bedclothes we brought with us. A place like this needs some luxury, but without her, there are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. I feel too restless to sleep right now. The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Chalk this particular purchase up to every cabin needs one. The ticking begins to feel homey after a while. The first night was a nightmare though. Time never mattered much to us while we were hiding from the rest of the world here. As long as we were together and happy. The clock has always been rather autonomous. No matter how many times we've wound it up, it keeps going out of sync. Actually, I think it might have gone out of sync again. No trusting this clock. I wonder what time it is. As if it mattered. The clock has always been rather autonomous. No matter how many times we've wound it up, it keeps going out of sync. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost, such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusions shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight. Sharing the warmth. Sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guessed when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. I still can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Yes. Blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a stroke? Hmm. Hmm. She also had a brush, but I can't see it anywhere. Nor some of her other personal items. 
It's just a regular comb bought from a supermarket. New enough to still have all its teeth. Hmm. Hmm. She also had a brush. Hers. I used it too, when shaving. There's only an outhouse, and for some reason, whoever erected the rickety thing didn't think to include wall-to-wall -wall mirrors. So, <laughs> this came in handy. <laughs> Should I dust for fingerprints? I might if I were in a detective story. After all these years, it permanently smells of her and her perfume. The last thing I need now is to see myself in the mirror. I must look awful. There's dust on this, too. It's everywhere. These keys are for the cabin and the car. If the keys are here, does she have her spare? I should probably stay here in case she doesn't. Did she even have her own spare? We also have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one comes here anyway. Commune Evidence, Serena's favorite perfume. I've always told Serena that she doesn't need to wear perfume. Her presence is magical enough already. It smells so elegant. There's violet leaf and silk tree blossom, I think. This perfume is perfect for Serena. Why didn't I ever notice? They prevent. I'm generally not fond of taking medication. I find it hard to believe ingesting a few chemicals will do me much good in the long run. Don't forget your pill, hun. I know you'd rather not, but you know it's for the best. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. I'm only supposed to take these before meals. Not a big fan of them. They do tend to alleviate my headaches, though. Beta blockers. I I'm only supposed to take these before meals. Not a big fan of beta blockers. I'm only not a big fan of them. They do tend to alleviate my headaches, though. I always resisted the temptation to sweep things under there when it was my turn to tidy up. So many afternoons spent in this armchair. Come sit with me. I want to talk. And cuddle. What did we talk about? Damn this fallible memory of mine. The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Well, along with the bed, of course. I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now. Putting her hand under my shirt. Of course, we made love here, too. There was no place in the cabin we didn't before things deteriorated. The most comfortable spot in the cabin, well, along with the bed, of course. So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer without all this. The smell of old books is intoxicating. What happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it that distinctive vanilla smell. I loved it when we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together as the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here too. A lot of rarities and special editions here. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No, of course not. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. 
Sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of this cabin. We had such a wonderful time dining in this cabin. Serena loved to experiment with her cooking. I should probably eat. Can't remember the last time I ate, yet I don't feel hungry. I have more pressing things on my mind right now than culinary exploits. I could tell plenty of stories about this table. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still in one piece. The dining table was well worn even when we acquired the cabin. You could tell from its appearance that it had been the centerpiece of many happy occasions. And there were many more to come. Our dining table. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. No, I don't want to leave right now. There's still something for me in here. Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but I can't help thinking there's something of importance inside. It's too painful. I want to, but not yet. We found this trunk at a flea market. We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. But we hated guns, so we never had any, even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one, since it can be locked. We found this trunk at a flea market. We Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. It's, I've always loved the hazy afternoon shades of this place. It's deep into summer, so there's a few hours left until it gets dark. The sunlight is so bright here. In other circumstances, this would have been the perfect afternoon for us. There's a crack in this window from a tantrum she threw some time ago. It wasn't the only thing she threw. Not exactly perfect soundproofing. The sunlight can be confusing. Oppressive, as if pregnant with some ill omen. Or is the stress finally catching up with me? The sunlight is so bright here. In other circumstances, this would have been the perfect afternoon for us. The rug's all crooked again. Can you help me straighten it out? I don't think Serena would approve of me making an even bigger mess of the clothes in here. Maybe later. There's nothing of interest inside the closet anyway. She is fairly religious, not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard, but I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. She always thought our relationship was a blessing. God, how I miss her. <laughs> no longer the cynical asshole, I guess. Her faith came as a surprise to me. She was never prudish about sex, so I just didn't expect it. I guess people simply aren't that predictable. No, I don't want to read right now. Especially not a Bible. I have no need for the words in there. I don't feel like being admonished by a deity right now. She adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. Curiously, we never brought many plants inside the cabin. We were surrounded by so many outside, and I guess we were saturated by them. At least I was. Maybe I should have let her bring some plants inside. She liked them a lot. 
A plant is a plant, beautiful to some, boring to others. They say these things are alive. If they are, it must be a horrible existence, confined in their own silent, dark world. We have much more interesting things than this plant inside the cabin, like my books. A plant is a plant, beautiful to some, boring to others. And no trap door under there, just more creaky floor. I better stay in, in case Serena comes back. There's always a chance she might return. There's nothing for me out there. This door has been creaking for years. One of the many things I promised I would fix. I have this gut feeling that I shouldn't leave just yet. There's nothing for me out there. This window never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Priorities, right? I guess it's covered with grease and grime from cooking, mostly. There's probably nothing out there that I want to see, anyway. All the stuff I care about is inside. Well, except for Serena. I can make out nothing through this window. There was a time, long ago, that all this disrepair felt oddly homey. All the windows are drafty, but like everything else, we just got used to it. We liked it, even. I can make out nothing through this window. I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now, putting her hand under my shirt. A lot of rarities and special editions here. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No. Of course not. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. A lot of rarities and special editions here. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. My love. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. My love. Is it my imagination, or are you using even more these days? She had a point. I am on medication for blood pressure, after all. I'm determined to make a change when she comes back. Yes, no more indulgences. I want to do things right. It's not the healthier type, just regular table salt. I always planned to switch to mineral or sea salt, but then I always ended up buying the regular stuff. Doctors, they always overreact. I must be even more exhausted than I realize. Here I am, staring at a salt shaker, 
My thoughts are a million miles away. Lonely Hearts Club Band. Pig and Pepper. Alice in Wonderland. All these associations, links, plays on words. My head is full of them, and it never stops. Yes, I could sure use some pepper today. God, I'm so bored. It's just a pepper shaker, really. We got this set from that clearance sale, however long ago that was. Yet we never needed to refill it. I didn't notice this before. It reads, Contents imported from Ceylon. How old is this stuff? It's just a pepper shaker, really. I know it's my general state of mind, but I feel even more depressed near this armoire. Guess I can't shake off the memory of my sweet Serena trying on her various garments. Be honest. Does this dress show too much cleavage? I want only one pair of eyes on me. How I miss her naked back when she was standing by this armoire. The perfect curve of her neck. Her firm bottom. I'm a casual dresser. No need to change clothes right now. Don't think Serena would approve of me making an even bigger mess of the clothes in here. Why? I might just as well stay here. I should really stay. I'm so tired anyway. I prefer the darkness inside right now. This door has been creaking for years. One of the many things I promised I would fix. As always, I automatically went to the window side and she took the one by the armoire. Some of her scent still lingers. What's the matter with me? I can't seem to remember even ordinary things. When was the last time we made love? Maybe if I go to sleep, I will wake up, and there she'll be, arms wrapped around me, the warm and passionate touch of her lips. But I can't sleep. It feels as if I've been awake for ages. I don't sleep well without Serena next to me. Both a blessing and a curse, I suppose. There are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. I feel too restless to sleep right now. We seem to take fewer and fewer walks as the years went by. Everything around here is so familiar. Everybody thinks that living out in the middle of a dark, dense forest is so romantic. Nothing but you and nature. Serena and I thought so too, once. That is, until the loneliness kicked in. Why did we choose this place? We were both so young and spontaneous. Why did we suddenly decide we should let our love wither away in a still life? There's a crack in this window from a tantrum she threw some time ago. How long has it been, I wonder? I can't tell. And I miss her so much. That ticking, it never stops. I've wasted so much time in my life. Did I ever take a break to show her how much I truly cared? Actually, I think it might have gone out of sync again. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? When did the color fade from these lampshades? That's why we liked them in the first place. There's enough light already. Could you take this out and beat it, love? It's getting a bit dusty. It's one of the few decorative things here. We weren't much of homemakers, either of us. I remember us washing it properly in the lake many summers ago. Once. I always resisted the temptation to sweep things under there when it was my turn to tidy up. Is there anything worse than beautiful memories turning to dust? The stove looks like something from World War I.
someone said, work and love are the only things that ever really happened to us. Was it Freud or Marilyn Monroe? Did I let my work destroy my love? Writing was so all-consuming for me, yet I made so little headway in all this time. I want to hurl the whole damn lot into the lake, or just tear at the pages until the wind sweeps them away. Some of these started a mildew long ago. Nothing gold can stay. Frost. All oh, those words, those damn words. My whole life's been consumed by them. Now I have none left to say. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I torture myself trying to remember. I'm too upset to even think straight. This armchair. This is where we had that talk. That damn... I've been trying so hard, but we lost something along the way. Did you get my letter? Will you just listen to me for once? God, you're always... Wait, where are you going? Don't walk away from me! I hate her so much. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Sit down, we need to talk. When did it go so wrong? This was supposed to be a... We weren't supposed to fight here. You just don't get it, do you? You never do. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. It's like looking into my own soul right now. Did I see shadows move? No. Just my imagination. It's like the whole world is against me. Even my mind is playing tricks on me. I torture myself trying to remember. I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, it used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation? Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy, when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic, and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me any more than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. Now I remember. It was me all the time. I lost her. And it's all my fault. I the sit here on the box. train. What is it doing here? It's just a bunch of schmaltzy junk. A shrine to naivety. I don't see anything else of value. I should just destroy this useless junk. But not even the venom inside me gives me strength. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. All of this... these... Pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. I couldn't care less about why torture myself I'm too upset to I even sit think here. straight. I, no longer... I hate all of this. Here, I sit no I no longer know what you're thinking. Pathetic souvenirs With my parents from gone. our relationship. They're all lies. I no longer know what you're thinking. With my parents gone and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? 
I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are, to shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blithely drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a footnote when you could be raking at it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your path, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense. And the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on. You pursuing your dreams that will never be. Lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting books. You took the best years of my life and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. Is this where she kept her secrets? I should take a look inside. Where to put it? I should tear all her filthy, disease-ridden clothes apart and burn them! Everything she wore, just to lure me in. Not even these violent impulses give me the strength I need to open the armoire! What is wrong with me? I couldn't care less about this damn thing. It's finally sinking in. She's not coming back. Nothing in this cabin will ever change again unless it's by my hand. We don't have any more light bulbs. I'm sick of this thing anyway. We're chipping away at what little money we have because of a piece of junk. Why torture myself trying to remember? It's just a book. What good will reading a fairy tale do me? God has never been there for me when I needed comfort. Why would he want to go out of his mysterious ways to help me now? I'm too upset to even think straight. Stupid, feeble-minded woman with her silly, menial things. It was she who didn't deserve me. I wouldn't waste my intellect on this... this sublunary distraction. She probably cared more for this plant than she cared for me. I hate her so much. The stains on this bed suddenly make me mad. Angry, even. Why must life always end up so sordid and hateful? I'm not crawling in there. I'm too riled up for that, and it's, it's just not dark enough anyway. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Sunlight. Birdsong. Nothing feels worse when there's no hope. No chance of... anything. The light is so dim here. Makes me want to chop down every tree outside. There's only a limited window of opportunity for everything. And I wasted mine. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. It feels darker by the minute, but the sun is still high in the sky. Or is it? I feel so turned around, I... It can't be happening. No. I can still see, even if the light is going. I'm not turning it on. Why torture myself trying to remember? That incessant noise! I should smash this useless antique to pieces right now! It can't keep the time for five minutes straight. It chimes completely at random and never stops making that infernal noise. But hey, guess who thought it was so cute? This thing has caused me more sleepless nights than I care to remember. No wonder I'm going crazy. I'm too upset to even think straight. How could I have been so blind? Her vanity. Always fixing her hair before bed. Doting on her hair like a child. But I'm... I'm being unfair. Would I have wanted her to be some frump? Ugh, I'm too angry to even care. All she cared about was herself all along. Her needs. Her feelings. That's all that ever mattered to her. What about mine? I hate her so much. I can't even bear to look at my face. She's really done a number on me. She never descended to criticizing my looks, though. Even when we fought, even when my hairline started going. But it was a sore point for me. My thoughts are all over the place. Get it together, damn it! All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Where are you going? 
Oh, that's rich. Just run away. I just needed to blow off steam to be somewhere else, just for a while. But I, I can't even remember what we argued about. Unless she was the one who left. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Changeable man, insolent wretch. Haha, <laughs> sounds like Serena, all right. Her father's realm. She was a daughter of the Celtic sea god Mananon. Oh, what was it? Machler? Scholars say Niav's divine father, Mananon, was of an elder race even more ancient than the Tuahaja Danan. Why torture myself trying to remember? Too upset to even think straight. She's angry now. Part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this, but for some reason, I just feel numb, beyond it. She was lying to me and manipulating me all the time. Why did I let her do that? I'm the one who should have been scowling. She played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot. I hate her so much. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture my... Truth is, I could have used this spice to get some of her abominations down my throat. I'm too upset to even think straight. I tried to be charitable with her, but what did it get me? Honestly, she could rarely carry a tune, so her humming habit got on my nerves. She actually threw this at me once. She could have killed me. That's how the bedroom window got that crack. My wife has no indulgence given except what comes to her from heaven. We eat little, we drink less. This earth breeds not our happiness. William Blake Never those dry, blackened omelets again. Good riddance. Here's your stupid omelet. I hate her so much. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? A part of me still thinks she'll forgive me and come back. But I've lost all hope now. Do I deserve to be forgiven? What about all the things she did and all the things she said? Words and dreams may be enough for you, but you know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon because I've had enough. I'm too upset to even think straight. All the real color faded from it long ago. It must be full of dust mites. I should burn it. I told her the rug was fine work, like I know anything about handicrafts. But it's what the Empress wanted to hear, wasn't it? I hate her so much. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship? I couldn't. Why? Why torture me? I. 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 All of this. I know. I. Why? I. I. Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think straight. I couldn't care less about the damn thing now. Maybe I should have a look at the contact pages. Her and her damn spice. Well, two can play at that game.
Serena thought she was so special, always trying to make our sex life edgy and exciting. Now I can see she was just afraid of admitting how bland and boring she really was. I hate her so much. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. All of this... these... I couldn't... Why torture myself trying to remember? Too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. All of this... I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? I feel like throwing this chair through the window. But that would just make me even angrier. Her favorite chair, huh? I should just smash this thing to pieces! It's wobbly and off balance, just like she was. Especially... that night. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. All of this... These pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I remember how happy these made her. She smiled, that wonderful smile. I must have gifted these to make amends or something. Or did I? Did I ever gift her anything? She loved her trinkets more than she loved me, right? I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? Her wedding ring or mine? But... What is it doing here? Oh, please, no. It's... hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? No. It can't be true. No. No, I didn't do it. I need to wake up from this nightmare. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself? I'm too upset to even... I hate her so much. All of this... These pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, it couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Don't worry. It's all covered. We spent much time here. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? Fire will do it. It's been months since we... Fire will do it. Fine. Give me the kerosene. My god. What is this? It can't... It isn't... How did it happen? I... can't remember. It's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? It's... dry. 
and withered. A body takes at least weeks to... How, how long has it been? I can't even remember how I did it. Maybe I didn't. Do I have brain damage? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Please, let me wake up. Let it be a dream. In that sleep of death, what dreams may come. I can't bring myself to close my eyes. I know I'll see her. It... What have I done? I should electrocute myself with that lamp. I don't need to see that... that horror any better. Is there someone out there, or am I hearing things? I'm not taking any chances by turning this on. I used to have some sleeping pills here. They're gone. Oh, I'd give anything for a bottle of scotch. Is this... purgatory? Job, was it? Why did I not die at birth? For now I would have lain down and been quiet. I would have slept. I would have been at rest. To hell with this book. My own dark world. Barely alive. Is this my eternal punishment? I wonder if this plant is poisonous. With my luck it would just give me a headache. Atropa Belladonna. You were a better fate for me. The sun is a silent death for some. Dehydration? Delirium? If I smash the window, I could just slit my wrists with the shards. Bashing my head through might cut a carotid artery, even quicker than the wrists. Isn't time supposed to heal all wounds? I've really gone insane this time, haven't I? I could swear time is standing still. How long must I suffer? Dust. Only dust. Would death be guaranteed? If I... Will I see another dawn after this long night? I'm too much of a coward to try killing myself with this. I'd do anything to forget. To be able to focus on something. Just read again. Anything other than... <sighs> Dear God. I feel sick. Flesh. Temptations. Oh no. I couldn't. Not after. I didn't touch her. I could have, but no. I did not. I remember stumbling on this more than once, but she always insisted it be kept here. She did it on purpose. This rug. I could wrap the body in it. No. I can't. I, I can't even think about this. It's grotesque. Red like blood. Yellow like... dead eyes. Might as well be a coffin. Everything within it is just... dead. I should bury my sorry self in it. All those memories. I'm so sorry, Serena. I loved you. I sit here on the train, take... I no longer... <laughs> With a twist of wind, Oshin fell hard on his homeland ground. You and me both, my warrior poet. You and me both. I read somewhere, I forget where, only one way a fairy romance can end. There's only one way anything can end, really. Thank you.
dead, worm-eaten wood. The many times we sat here, so many, to think there would ever be a last time. The dinners, the laughs, I can't bear looking at it any longer. If only I had died of high blood pressure, at least she would be random associations. I remember after our fight just staring at this salt shaker for what seemed like hours. Serena was the salt of the earth. She was my pillar, my guardian angel. What have I done? I'm getting hysterical. Seeing this, I can't help thinking of pepper spray. It doesn't even make any sense. Pepper, the black condiment. I have to focus on something, just not this. I need to stop staring at this idiotic thing. Why did she have to be like that? Why did she always toy with my feelings? What have I done to you, my Serena? I can't think about this. I feel faint. I have to breathe normally. I must have taken her ring off when... Why is it in this chest? Was it guilt? Disgust? Denial? In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. I'm... I'm going to be sick. There's no booze, no food. Even if there was anything left to eat or drink, I couldn't force it down. There's no point. Just words. This is not life. All the words in these books couldn't bring her back to me. What have I become? All the knowledge in here was at my reach, and yet I was blinded by ignorance. That night, the night we had that fight, this is where she told me. What a damn fool I was. Don't walk away from me. Don't you fucking care anymore? Stop. Get back here. She was right. I wasn't good enough for her. There's no point. No point at all. The more I look at this, the more it feels like an electric chair. I won't see her sitting on this chair ever again. I just don't know how to cope. Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, you couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Fire will do it. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. It's all covered. He spent much time here. Fine. Give me the kerosene. Oh shit! We forgot your... Fuck! It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll pick it from the ashes. No. No. Not like this. Please. No. Let me go. Please. Let me go.
Thank you.